Oh, from the chest. The game's up. I, I'm opening the trunk. Hmm. Oh. He hello. Oh. The shards. Okay. The shards are. The fuck? Phew. I startle too easily. Hmm. You do. You'll put your heart out. If you're not careful. What the bot? Oh no! Well, I just got knocked the fuck out. Hmm. What the balls? Was that a gunshot? Hello? Alright, we need to remove these, I suppose. But we don't have anything we can do. Can I take this? Oh, really? Pull the cloth. There's no way I can reach it. Oh, wait. A flat iron. Um. Okay, this might work. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Cook through the fetters with the saw. Okay. Oh, right. There we go, his feet are free. That's good, at least. Use the crane controls. Oh, I can actually get up. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Well. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh no. That does not sound good. Oh. Oh. Well, we're free, at the very least, so it's not so bad. Hooray! <laughs> we got fucking decked, though. Don't know what they used, but certainly got decked. It would be best if no one found out about this. Examine the pipe. There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. Hair I really can't afford to lose. Oh. You get struck in the head quite hard, like. Oh wait. I can take it. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. That fucking thing would do some serious damage. Hmm. Examine the chairs. A chair is the last thing I need right now. <laughs> I was sitting long enough over there in the corner. In the corner. Right, cool. Let's examine the cell. 
a detention cell for crew members, or maybe for rowdy passengers. Hmm. Right, let's go back out. Open the door. Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. Look out the window. It's already dark outside. How long have I been unconscious? Uh. Hmm. Like I was going so slowly down the stairs. Crate with a bullet hole. Wait, what? The shot hit this crate. The question is, was the gunman actually trying to hit it? And if so, why? Maybe the gunman just wanted to intimidate me. I can't imagine a more effective warning. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's too dark to make out anything inside the hole. Uh, I should take a closer look later. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Lockers. The cargo hold seems to be used as a changing room for the crew as well. Ooh. Or at least the part of the crew that doesn't do their work in white suits. Let's see if... Oh, wait, I have the pipe. Can I use that to open the door? I don't know how that would work. I like, you know, how that would be more effective than using his hands, but... I guess it will show us. Yeah, open the door, but I need to use it with the bloody pipe. Boom. Does that work? Oh, it did. Somehow. Cool. 15k. I should be careful. The gunman may still be nearby. Alright. Right. Huh. <laughs> there we go. What are you up to, Zelna? Uh, scent of the gun. I wanted to determine whether the gun had been fired recently, Inspector. I mean, what are you doing on the ship? I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look. Careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. I was inspecting the trunk. I found it in the cargo hold, and it was clear that someone had hidden inside it to board the ship. Mm -hmm. Some people are willing to go to great lengths to be a part of this journey. Indeed. Whoever it was, they struck me on the head from behind with the pipe while I was looking for clues. Why? Oh, and they shot at me as well. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along, orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. I should throw you overboard. I would have dreamed up something less painful. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. See? And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. So where people are going to be like, me. I thought you weren't coming along. He's like, surprise, bitches. Zelna is here to stay. They probably won't even be all that shocked anyway. It's like, oh, I knew you would stay. You can still try talking to all the characters. I will. No, no, I'll probably talk to all the necessary characters. Hmm. Inspector Legrand and Zelna. Constable Zelna. So you have decided to join us on our journey after all. So it would seem. We are searching for Dr. Gebhardt. I'm just fine, Captain Conti. <laughs> Be Conti. I'm in control. I can manage. Manage. He absolutely must wake me at a quarter to ten. Certainly, madam. Absolutely. I shall see that he does. And now, 
I shall return to my chambers. Uh, lovely. You'll be in the bar tonight at ten, Inspector. If that's what you wish. It will be spectacular. I promise. <laughs> the fresh sea air and perhaps a glass of champagne to many. Ugh. But I'm glad that you decided to join us on our journey to Cairo. Not quite <coughs> voluntarily. So he says. I was jumped from behind. But no, that that is Dr. Gephardt should have a look at him, Captain De Conti. Mm -hmm. Of course. Please, have a seat in the saloon, Constable Zelna. I'll summon the doctor. The doctor. At once. As you should. You prick. It's not even his fault, I don't know why I'm calling him a prick. Either way, that was a pain. Our brave Constable Zelna was attacked. Struck on the head. Oh. Sit down, please. Now, please, tell me exactly what happened. I got jumped. I think you've got a stowaway on board. I was jumped. Intolerable. I'll have the crew search every nook and cranny of the ship. And of course, Mr. Zelna, you are cordially invited to travel as our special guest. Good to know that at least one man doesn't want to throw me overboard. Is it bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. I spoke with Dr. Gebhardt. He suffered a violent blow to the back of the head. I cannot really say how bad it is. But I can. It really hurts. <laughs> Why didn't anyone look for me? Why didn't anyone come looking for me? Didn't anyone notice that I didn't come back from the cargo hold? We did search for you, but we couldn't find you. Who was supposed to search the cargo hold? Constable Oliver. I'll have a talk with him about that later. I should hope so. How many fingers do you see? Seven. Three. Well, two and a thumb, actually. Three fingers. Okay. Where are we? Where are we? And, and what time is it? I must have been out for ages. It's just after 8 p.m. You just missed dinner. But we'll all meet here in the saloon at 10 o'clock to have a drink together. Greeting the passengers personally is a tradition I will not break, even on this unusual journey. You're all right now, Constable. The bleeding has stopped and the wound looks good. You may have a mild concussion. Great. You just need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, your only worries will be a headache and an impressive bump. <laughs> Thanks. That's a good enough reason to celebrate. Enough about crooks and thieves. From now on, you can start to enjoy your free cruise. Yay! Inspector! What? A dark shadow. Upper deck, just now. Go, let's have a look. Okay. I'll join you. Me too. No, you stay here. Do you want to make this an argument? <laughs> we just do whatever we want. We're incredibly stubborn, it seems. All right. Come on. Load already. Robert, go to the Baroness and don't let her out of your sight. Zellner, you're coming to the port side. Doctor, you go to starboard. I'll start at the forecastle and work my way back to the two of you. Understood? But... Baroness von Trebitz! Hello? Baroness von Trebitz, open the door. Oh dear. 
Dr. Gebhardt insisted on coming along, but now he doesn't seem to be sure if that was a good idea. All right, Doc. I'm off. Oh, no. I'm not going on a manhunt all by myself. Oh. Good. I guess. Better. Hmm. <laughs> 